So here, as you see, put a medium one here. Here it's calling for a small now. So today I've been called out here to do a bit of stone work. This one is just an addition at the back of the house. I'm gonna take you around and show you what we have to do today. It's gonna be a man-made stone. We have our stone here. Some Permican man-made stone. Probably one of the most popular stone out there right now to lay. So with no further ado, let's dive right into the video. But before we jump into the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more fun video like this one. Let me take you around there and show you what we have here to do today. So it's a pretty straightforward one today. So we're just gonna come up four inches underneath the window there. Put a, a door sill over there, work our way, come right across. So it's um, three-sided. Three we have over here as well. This is the stone that we have here today. So we have our type S cement with our sand. And you're ready to go. Let the fun begin, guys. Okay, guys, so we install our weeping plastic. We install our Tyvek. Next thing we're gonna put some duct tape to seal off our scenes and then we're ready to lay our stone. Guys, it's very important to use your duct tape to tape off the scene. You don't need to uh, no. Yeah, an early board. I usually be uh, ready to go around uh, 5.30 in the morning. No, same here. I'm hurried. Right. Okay guys, so now we're gonna start to lay our stone. I like to put a piece of wedge on and our first stone just to hold it in place, especially when it's a peak. start my small here we have a big one so we need to try to bring down the small to the same level as the big one I'm gonna put our medium it comes up to the same level as the big one here here now once you reach four feet you want to break it and put a different size now we're gonna... okay so we are almost four feet the three rules one of them is to break your band once you reach uh, three feet no more than four feet and we have to break our band this one here we're gonna bring it down to the same level as the small that we have here Beautiful. So we're almost three feet here again. Same thing, we're gonna break it with a different size. Put a small here. Come on, 
level on this one. Make sure she's nice and level. So here we have a big. We have a small here. Jumbo is the same. The same name as the as a big is the same name as the jumbo. So that's what we call it. So we're gonna measure the piece to go here. The way we want to measure that, we want to hold our tape right under the end here of this one. And measure. Um, reason for that, we want to have once we measure it, we measure this one. We want to have the joint match up with this one here. So it's very important to put your tape always on the, the, the hand that's already there. So this is uh, five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. We have a medium here. We want to have an half an inch joint. Both the edge joint and the bed joint. Half an inch is what we're working for. So here as you see put a medium one here, here it's calling for a small now. Pretty straightforward guys. Phone lane. Once you follow the three rules, plain stone, should be simple. If you're a homeowner watching this video, thinking to do this yourself, Ask Ryan. I'm gonna be yeah. You, I'm gonna tell you yes. You can do it. I think you can do it yourself. You know, you just gotta watch a few, watch a few of my video. But some of them give more information than some, right? Sit back and watch a few of my video and go and tackle it yourself. You can do it. Yes, you can do it. Just trying to match this one with the, the small one here with the joint. I have to put a small over here now. Here's one of the rule. You can't go no higher than the biggest size stone, which in my case, this jumbo one here is the biggest I have. As you see here, I reach right up to it. I have to put one here and break it. Now we're gonna continue on there with mediums. Ten inches. This is around 450 square feet, guys. And we we'll have to finish this today. Not coming back here on this again tomorrow. Kind of start a bit late. Start 10 o'clock. I'll let you guys know at the end of the video if it took us just one day to finish, or we have to come back here another day. It, it should finish really easy in one day for us. You know, for at least for me. Shouldn't take me more than a day to finish, to finish this. go guys the stone is basically tell you what to go next here as you see here we have a medium we have a small once you have a medium and a small you know clearly it's telling you here you have to use a small here because remember medium and a small had up to be the same as the big one and one of the rule you don't want to you want you don't want to go no higher than the biggest size stone you have 
So in order to maintain that, you have to put a small one here so that we reach right up to our big stone and we have to break it. So we have to put a small here right now. Brick ties is what we use to hold the stone in place. So these brick ties, we're gonna strap them right onto the studs on the inside of the wall. So as you see, we can see where the studs is. So what we normally do, we normally bang the wall and listen for the stone. We just bang the wall, listen for the stone. That way we know where. So if it's solid, that, that way we know that that's where the stud is and if it's, if it's loose then we know that's not where it is. Right here because you can hear the different tones. Beautiful. And we can hear it in here. Very important to put your nail in the last hole on the brick ties. In my opinion, it holds the brick ties way better. Beautiful. We don't even need to bang it down, guys. Okay, so this is where we're at, guys. Small one here with a medium now. And I think you want to check for. You want to always try to match your, 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 your new one with the previous one that's already laid. That way, you have a, a nice big straight joint this way. Keep that in mind. It's very important to level all stone. It's very, it's very important to level, to level each stone as you go. I use my finger as a guide to put behind the stone here to maintain the plumb of the wall. Remember the stone. It's not easy to put your level because the stone is not a level surface at some point sometimes. So the way we want to do that, the wall itself is plumb. So you want to use your finger as a, as a guide or as a gauge to level your wall, go all the way up. This, um, I'm just going right up to the window here. Normally I would put a corner. I forget, you'd, you'd want to get a big nail. If you were to go all the way up, I would, I would put a, a nail and go and put a line and, 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 and work for the corner. But in this case, I don't need that. This is just, uh, this is just like four feet. I can do this without um, putting a line there. But if, if this is your first time laying stone, I would recommend you 
to put a line just to make sure you get everything nice and straight. This is something I do every day. And when I'm done, I'm gonna show you a simple way how you can plumb the corner without using a line. And it's gonna turn out very well. Sometimes you gotta just dress back and slide your wall just like so. Just look at it, make sure everything is nice and straight. You wanna see your problem before anyone else sees it. Sees it. Take your time. No rush. Get it right. Nice and plumb, just like so. Beautiful. Them everywhere. You can put some here, so all both in and just pack up one place. You know. So this is a rocky stone, pal? Guys, learn stone fast based on the experience. The more you learn how to do it, the more you learn the basic of it, the, ma the more you learn the rules and the technique, is the more you will go more faster. So spend the time and learn the basic of how to lay stone. You know, learn the three rules of how to lay stone. That way you will improve your speed. Once you figure out the tree, the tree rule of how to lay stone, your speed gonna be improved. You will, you will go way more faster. Spend the time, watch for of my video, and learn the tree rules of how to lay stone. And practice them, use them. Don't watch the video, see I'm explaining to you guys how to do it. And now applying them to your daily work. You want to use them. That way you learn the basic. getting value from this video so far guys go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already subscribe for more upcoming video like this one I promise you won't regret it yes you can cut it with your hammer see it's still straight 
and I, I like the finish more than when I use my machine to cut it because it gives me a look just like the stone that we have here. So using my hammer, I prefer to do that. And yes, you can try that if you like. May not gonna happen the same day you try. But if you practice, you may cut it as straight as I do. We're just gonna put a big one, six and a half. much easier yeah man this is right now much faster in my opinion Okay, so for this one we're gonna use our hammer and cut it. We wanna do that, we wanna tap right in the line, go right around, just like so. Tap here, and then bang the back. See, it's nice and straight. See, it's 100% straight. I like this type of cut better off than even to use the machine. Don't worry if you try it and you don't get it right the first time. Keep on practice. The hurt didn't wasn't built in one day. Keep on practice and you will get it. So practice. Believe in yourself. And I always tell yourself once Ryan can do it, I can do it too. Just need a little bit of practice. Trust me, you can do it. There's nothing out there in this world that some other individual can do that you can't do it yourself if you believe you can. So go and try. Go out there and try. Let's put a one brick size over here. One right here. We'll put another one over here again. I think I have this one. Make sure you line that up. Very important. This is my last, my last row now. Right here is where we finish with this wall. Just leveling him go right across. Beautiful, look at that. Look at that.
Yes, it cut straight. It cut straight, guys. Your hammer can do the job. Can do. Ten inches, guys. Beautiful. You guys, it's very important to try. Make sure it's very important to match your, your new brick with the existing one here, your new stone with the existing stone. That way you have a straight line going up. Where is my small level guys? Where do I put it? Oh I found it. She's hiding from me. Beautiful, look at that. Look at that, guys. Nice, that's beautiful, man. It's nice. Okay, let's do some joint now. Okay, guys, so we're gonna do it here now. And we're gonna leave it here to sit for a few minutes. And then later on, we're gonna come back and do our wire brush.